Hello and happy Memorial Day, everyone. Normally, I like to wear whatever lens I'm talking about. This time, if you catch me twisting and turning my head, this one's polarized. I can't see my computer screen if I'm looking straight at it. If I do this, I can see you. Me, I can see me seeing you. Whatever. All right. So, this one is one of my favorites. This is probably the lens I use in almost every personal wear I've ever had. It's a gray lens with that very strong blue mirror on the front. Polarized, of course, why I can't see what I'm doing here. This one, just the same demonstration of that lens. Just the very bright blue mirror on the front. And of course, a standard gray neutral throughout. So, very good lens for a lot of general use. The great thing about that blue mirror, it blocks a little bit more of the blue spectrum light. So it makes the vision a little bit more comfortable, but also blocks from a lot of intense light situations. So if you're in something really bright, sunny, out on a boat, driving a convertible, all the lovely things we love to do on this holiday weekend, this is a great lens for that. One step back from that, these are both gray, and we're going to knock out a couple here, just because they're kind of the same thing. And yeah, let's do that. So. This one is what they call the gray links. This one's not polarized. Another return of that lovely bi-shaded mirror. So centrally, you get that nice bright field. Darker as you go up, darker as you go down. So brought blocks from those dazzling lights above and below, but still keeping a nice central field of view. Nothing too crazy there. We've seen that before with the brown links and the ski links, and now in the gray links. So other thing here with this polarized lenses they're great for blocking glare below eye level it's really about the only advantage of them though so knocking off the glare from the windshield it helps somewhat but out on the water is where it's going to make the biggest difference this is what gets you that vision down through the water where you can actually see what's below the con there it does mess with depth perception on the water so you have to be very very careful about that if you're a pilot boater things along those lines now here's what I'm talking about. I gotta, yeah, sorry, can't do it this time. So, on the polarized lenses, the other disadvantage here, a lot of the LCD screens that we all love so much that we stare at all day because we just can't do without them. What I was talking about a second ago, I can't see me with this lens. So, cool thing, Google Pixel is polarized 45 degrees off angle, so you can actually still see this with polarized lens. My computer screen is not. Alright, so this one will get it tilted at the right angle and you'll see, boom, gone. Just like that. So you get right on that same 45 degree, the screen's just black and brightens back up as you get off axis. So it's kind of the way the polarization works, the way the gray lens works. Again, just very neutral throughout. Different mirrors have different purposes. That's a whole other story. I got a whole case of 18 different mirror colors coming. We'll have to play with that another day. But for now, just remember, anytime you want to block that bright, bright glare in a lot of different situations, you can use a mirror instead of polarization if you still need that depth perception or if you're still going to deal with these awful little LCD screens that we can't seem to live without anymore. Everyone have a great Memorial Day. Take care. We'll see you soon.